Hi, this is Mercedes, and I have a small project today, and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, today, I was playing around, sorry about that, with my silhouette in the, and using the silhouette flock heat transfer material, and I love it, you know. Um, I think it's so easy and I mean the material cut very nice and um, I don't know I love it I just like the, the texture is flat so you know what I do is I buy these t-shirts that are not too expensive and they don't bring any design at all and what I do is I cut the design I want to put on it and I cut it with the heat transfer material from silhouette and I go ahead and and put it on the t-shirt and it looked much better and she can use it now for the summer you know to go to preschool you know they're playing outside and it's not an expensive t-shirt but it, at the same time we can personalize it and put whatever she wants she loves butterflies so that's what I put and I have another here that I'm fixing to do right now and this is the first time that I actually going to try to type I mean yeah type and record at the same time let's see how this goes give me a minute I'm gonna pause it to get ready and bring the phone where my silhouette machine and my um, laptop is Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I already have the material, the piece that I'm going to use in my, um, what should I call it? Oh my God, in my mat, and here, and yes, I am using a Cricut mat, and out of the silhouette one, and I found the Cricut last longer, so I'm investing in this Cricut mats more or any other machine that I have and here I come to my computer and what I do in here is I go to my library and I found whatever it is that I want to um, put in the and uh, to cut and in this case huh, Hmm, I like that one too. There's so much. The only problem that you will have on this is choosing a a design. That's the only problem. I mean, that's the longer it takes me actually to choose a design. And I still okay. Let me do something. Let me see if I can just go. I lost the design I was meant to to use. And even though I have it already in I want you to, in, in my mat, I want you to show you how is that I I do it. I'm recording my meta. Let me see. Well, I don't seem to find the name here so let's just go for the one that is already in my well let me sh let me choose any one and then okay here for example um, let's say that you want to cut this belief so you click it you bring it over here and you size it whatever size it is that you like you put it whatever in the mat here on the top whatever it is that you want to cut it and whatever it is that the mat have your material and then when you do that let's let's go ahead I'm going to be cutting this one and my material is four by six so I think I can just go a little bigger okay let's do three and four no nope. uh, that will be too much because only 
we can cut it this way hold on see I can move it around this will be better because the material is six inches wide so I have more space in here and three inches here and I got four okay I'm fine after you do that you come here see I'm sorry I'm recording with my phone it's, it's not it's here it's sent to silhouette and it's getting ready before that I always like to adjust or check my setting in case something change and I it is right because I was already cutting and I don't know why it showed twice but it's okay uh, you got it change it to advanced because if you do it in a standard here this is what I'm talking about if you do it in standard it will cut like cutting paper and it will not go through your material so you have to actually go through the advanced and that will give you the the um, the right you know the right setting and then you hit here send it send it to the silhouette and see here is sending it and you can hear the machine here actually cutting the design isn't that nice oh I'm sorry my camera okay there you go yup and it's cutting and when it cuts I'm going to pause the video again and take the mat out Okay, I'm gonna pause. Okay, here is my design is already cut. I'm going to take my mat out, bring it to me, and hopefully I can do this <laughs> recording because I'm holding my phone at the same time. So I don't I don't think it will be able to do I'm going to be able to do this with one hand, but I will try. Okay. Thank you. I have an assistant today, which is Ariana. Say hi, Ariana. Hi. She's holding my mat. Okay, and we are cutting. And it looks very good. Um, what I do is try to take it out from here with my special. Thank you, Ariana. And, uh, Hopefully you won't break. Uh, pull it out. It. Hold on. I am uh, making a mistake in here, so I'm going to have to put you in, in the hole again for a minute, okay? Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. It's like I said, it's my first tutorial. And, you know, I don't have everything in my room. I had to come here to the kitchen where I have more space to iron it. But the instruction in the material transfer it says that you should warm this a little bit. And then put your uh, material that you are going to be ironing on it. And then you're supposed to put, um, like, something on top of it, a fabric. I get that part, don't worry, sweetie. Well, she's concerned. Let's do it this way. That is a little better, no? Okay, and now I'm going to try to get the iron. Hey, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do a tutorial and it's kind of hard, you know, doing it with my phone. But what I do, do according to the instruction in the box, is that you're not going to iron it like this you're supposed to just press move press move and you're gonna do this for 15 seconds you know every time you press and you move and you press and you move until it's ready to take out when it's ready I'm going to I'm going to stop the video because actually I cannot do it you know with just one hand when I finish and I'm ready to peel it off, I will come back to the video and I show you how I do it.
Okay, give me a minute again.